All right, it started in Belgium and is now spreading to France, Germany, Denmark, and the Netherlands. It's support for legislation banning burqas, the veil-like face coverings worn by many Muslim women as a display of their faith. In Belgium, a law banning the garments is likely to become law, in part over concern that women are being forced to wear them. Now, France approved a ban on face coverings in public areas just last month. Now, these bans are spurred partly by security concerns. Burqas allow women to shield their identity in public, and many believe they contribute to the spread of extremist ideology, and the United States is not immune to those concerns. Now, just last week in Dearborn, Michigan, police arrested four Christian missionaries for their alleged disorderly conduct at an Arab cultural festival. Now, their disorderly conduct appears to have consisted of passing out Christian literature. Now, that event stoked fears that Sharia law is creeping into the United States. If so, could we see the same drastic measures that European countries are now adopting coming to the United States? Joining me now with analysis are the president for actforamerica.org, Brigitte Gabriel, and the president of the World Muslim Congress, Michael Gauss. Guys, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good to be back. All right, Brigitte, do you support this? Uh, I support the ban on the burqa. I believe that it's a symbol of oppressing women. Uh, a lot of women are forced into wearing the burqa. We know that the Europeans are experiencing an alarming rate of honor killing, mostly linked to the fathers or brothers forcing their sisters or their female to wear the burqa. The situation is so severe in Europe that the European police met at The Hague in an international conference, and they discussed how to deal with the issue throughout Europe. Britain alone reopened over 110 murder cases, all linked to honor killing, and they believe it all started with the forcing of the women to wear the burqa and adopt more Islamic practices. You know, you know, I guess, Michael, I guess the question is this. We know, for example, in Saudi Arabia, Sharia law, um, women are forced not only to wear bur burqas, if they are seen out in public with, with a male that they are not related to, they, they face severe punishment. There are people, for example, the guy that wants to build this controversial imam that wants to build the mosque at, at, at the location where Ground Zero is. Uh, we know that he supports the idea of, of America becoming more Sharia compliant. Would you accept in America that, that women may be forced to wear burqas? Two things here, Sean. First of all, anybody forced to do anything is wrong. I'm so Saudi Sharia Arabia is, is wrong? They are wrong forcing women to do what they do, forcing women to wear burqa. In Quran, there is only one verse that addresses both men and women equally, that it tells women to cover their bosoms and tells men to wear the modest clothing. Right, the but, idea but, is to prom disprove, right, but here's uh, the point. promote promiscuity. But there, there, there are people, though, Michael, and including this controversial imam that wants to build this mosque near Ground Zero. He wants America to be more Sharia compliant. He wants a it judiciary... Depends. What? It depends on what Sharia compliance. Sharia has been maligned. If you look at part of the Sharia, they are about justice. It is misapplication of justice wait, wait, that wait, wait, is wait. the problem. Sharia has not been... Uh, no, it is not. Sharia law in Saudi Arabia means if you're caught in a park with a male that you're not related to, you face severe punishment. That is wrong, and that is their country's rules. It has nothing to do with religion. You know, the, the, the Taliban in Afghanistan are butchering women, are forcing women to wear burqa. That is wrong. But what you should buy, or Bridget should buy, is what Quran says. Quran says modesty. The form of burqa that has evolved over the period of time is right. a cultural aspect. Let me ask you this, Sean. Would Hillary Clinton or Michelle Obama wear mini skirts to the office? Would Bridget wear they want? bikinis? to the radio sh TV show here. Wait, wait, she wait, 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 wait. Because that is not the norm, that is not well, the culture. this is not. Let the Muslim women who Hang are on, comfortable Brigitte. with the, uh, out I'm of their own free the... choice wear what Hang is comfortable to them. The... Why should Michael... anybody have any right to tell a woman what to wear and not to wear? Michael, Let you, you're speaking... Choice. You're, you're, Let them have you're the freedom speaking in the to abstract. do what they want to wear. I think what, what he's missing, Brigitte, is in reality where Sharia law is applied this is the reality and the oppression that women face. 
Exactly. And this is why when you see an Islamic society, the more it goes into radicalism, such as Saudi Arabia, where Sharia law is enforced, women are oppressed, they are forced to work the burqa. The same thing in Iran. Look, when Ayatollah Khomeini came to power, he forced women to wear the burqa to the point where they have morality police. The same thing in Saudi Arabia. You are seeing the same signs, for example, in Lebanon when Hezbollah won control, especially of the Hezbollah territories. You see women wearing burqa. Same thing where Hamas control Islamic territories. They are forcing women to wear the burqa. Right. You start looking at right. other Pre countries. Brigitte. Again, Pakistan, the common thread is Islam and radical but Islam, Sharia law at that. Brigitte, what, what, what then are we to make of these European laws? And more, uh, more I, I guess, relevant is this move to, to make America more Sharia compliant. Is it the abstract model that Michael's talking about, or is it the application that we see in these other countries? Well, it's the it application, application that we see in those other countries. And this is why we in the United States in the last year and a half have had three honor killing cases where fathers murdered their daughters because they were refusing to live according to Islamic law, Sharia law, which is the codification of Islam. We had the case in Texas where the father murdered his two daughters in the backseat of his cab because they were becoming too westernized. We right. had a husband in New York who okay, beheaded okay. his wife because she filed for a divorce Bridget. against him. And, and Bridget, so on and so forth, day, many cases. Bridget, on the very same day, if you Google it, there were many fathers killed their daughters for disobedience. It is more like a disobedience rather than slapping religion on somebody's act. It's very easy to slap religion. All right, but we, look at we on the run. same day, Google it, you Michael, find it otherwise. We gotta run. Michael, Bridget, Not correct. thank you for being with us.